Cold lead therapy, also known as low-level lead therapy, is characterized by safety and non-invasiveness. Compared with other therapeutic modalities, cold lead therapy has relatively few contradictions associated with it. However, there are still some cautions we should pay attention to before taking cold lead treatment. Do not perform cold lead therapy on the site of any known primary carcinoma or secondary metastasis. There is a potential that cold lasers may stimulate cancer cells and promote tumor growth. However, there are two special cases where cold laser therapy can be used in cancer patients with approval from oncologists or primary physicians. For patients who are in the terminal stage of cancer, cold laser therapy can be used to relieve pain. As for cancer patients who are undergoing chemotherapy, immunotherapy, or radiation therapy, cold laser therapy can be applied to reduce the side effects of these therapies. Researchers observed cell damage in chicken embryos after irradiation with cold lasers through the opening in the eggs. However, it is important to keep in mind that the dosage of laser irradiation is very high to chicken embryos if the size and weight of the eggs are considered. With little research done in this area, there is no documentation indicating the damaging effects of cold laser therapy on human embryos. For safety, we do not recommend pregnant women taking cold laser treatment. Cold laser therapy should not be used while there is active bleeding because of its versatile dietary effect. Cold laser therapy stimulates blood cells and improves blood circulation, leading to more severe bleeding. Totals are not a contradiction per se, but they should be treated with caution for people who are very sensitive. The pigments of the totals will absorb the laser light and the area could turn warm and painful. It is therefore advisable to start the treatment with low power settings and short time periods of years. Then make the adjustment based on feedback from the patients. It is known that pulse visible red light in the 5 to 10 Hz range can cause epileptic seizures. Some cold therapy devices, not including Miramid Joint 8, utilize flashing visible light. So it should be used with extreme caution in epileptics. It is also worth noting that some contradictions are assumed to be relative rather than absolute. Thereby, the contradictions of cold laser therapy should be considered from a professional and practical perspective in regards to the actual patients.